So for for me personally, I take them take them to a side. I set them targets and actions and what they want to achieve by the end of the term. They will come in every single week. They will have a look and review exactly what they've done through the week the best they can. A lot of the time they come in and they say, I don't remember. But that's for us to try and pick out the key things that they've done throughout their weeks. Again, like we said, confidence. So confidence will, will always grow and, and there's a particular child that, that I've been working with even at, at this school where they've, their mindset has completely changed. So they've gone from not really focusing so much in class and wanting to step out of their classroom quite a lot to now concentrate on how he looks and how he feels about himself. So he's now really focusing on being becoming fitter and um, healthier and more hygienic, which is, is something that he has said has, has come from myself. Kellum is a person who could maybe intimidate somebody else. How could you maybe intimidate somebody else? This isn't a positive thing, it's actually a negative thing, but how could you intimidate somebody? By saying, oh, give me that, get off, and, and shut up, and, yeah. and, and then push him, and, and say horrible words about him. Yeah, so raising your voice and being, being a little bit aggressive can make you feel a little bit intimidating, can't it? Has there been any times where I've, I've intimidated you ever, or you've ever felt intimidated by me. What? When was that? Um, really won't say it. You can say it. It's fine. Mm, it's fine. I'm not seeing it. Was it in the ball pit? Yeah, when you were chucking the the, <laughs> the little balls at me. It's fine though. It's fine because what have we done from that now? We've moved on. We've learned from it. Yeah. And we, and we haven't done it again. We've not done it again, and you've not done it again, have you? So that shows that you learn from your mistakes, don't you? So the mistakes you make, you learn from them, and we move on. And I don't hold any grudges against you at all. All right. So we move on from it. At Brockwood, we always say that children have to be ready for learning. So I think. What the mentoring programme does is it, 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 it enables um, the children to have a series of um, ways which they can overcome their barriers to learning. So in, in the mentor being there, um, they've got a, a toolkit that they can use and the mentor works, it does a very personalised programme with the children so it might be about for example I've seen some benefits where children have been thinking about even the way they look the way that they speak to adults the way that they can overcome a challenging task and all of these things that they can sort of tap into as and when they need and um, has a really big impact on their learning because if they're not ready to learn then how can they possibly learn so I would say one of the key benefits of the mentoring program is that mentor knows that child um, very, very well. They take the time to find out what is amazing about that child as well as some of the key difficulties that they have. I've noticed the mentors going into checking on those children, not just when they have their session, but later on in the day, which really makes a difference to that child. They know that they're valuing they know that they're important to that mentor. They have a very, very special relationship. When I look through some of the target books, um, that our mentor gives to the children, it's incredibly personal. So I can read that and I know that that's about that particular child. And when you read about what the pupils have written, they really notice the time and effort that's put into that child from that mentor. They have a really strong bond and that's why I think it works so well. It's not just about sport, and it's not just about health, actually it's about learning. And that's what we want our mentor to do here, is fuse those two things together. Um, to make really great steps forward for those particular pupils. It makes me uh, feel ready to do more work and it, um, and it makes me concentrate more and not make, not fiddle and have arguments with people because I used to have those arguments now I don't. It was messed up because I kept on, I kept on um, being Rude to teachers and and mm, not listening what they're saying of not following school rules and uh, I kept them leaving the classrooms. It's starting to get more better than it was in in the past. Right, foot, right. You're gonna have five penalties at me. Yeah, we're gonna go over this way. 
five penalties. Two out of two. I can't get them in the corner. A bit high. Good. And we'll finish on that. We'll finish on that. Let me race you. Did I give you a five second head start? Right, five second head start. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh boy, look at the pace. 